Uh, Liverpool are indeed number one at the moment after that hard-fought victory against Brighton. But it's not the end of the line yet in this title race, really, because when you compare all three of them, look, taking into consideration all three are into or rather have progressed in their respective European competitions, only Manchester City are in the FA Cup at the moment. So that's one additional competition for Man City to focus on. Just looking at some of their remaining Premier League only fixtures, you can see it's not going to be a straightforward title running, is it? There are certain tricky fixtures. As I mentioned, Manchester City do take on Aston Villa in midweek. That's one potentially a bit of a slip up, Stuart. I, I think everyone's got something to play for in the league this year. If it's teams at the bottom, they want to stay away from the relegation campaign. If it's teams chasing a European place, you know, Tottenham, Aston Villa, they're going to cause problems. And the pressure, you've got to handle the pressure, some of these fixtures, that is so key. And Listen, Liverpool versus Brighton, you thought it would be a reasonably comfortable afternoon for, and all of a sudden, within a minute, a minute and a half, uh, Brighton have taken the lead in the game, which adds pressure. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. I mean, you, there's, there's no easy games in the Premier League, is there? I think you look, you, you look at Tottenham, probably got the big part to play in the title race, got to play all three teams. Uh, Liverpool going to Man United, won't be easy. Uh, yeah, I see. I see Spurs playing a big part in the title race, and as Stuart just alluded to, then you know there's, there's people still playing for things. You've got Villa obviously looking for Champions League places. Uh, yeah, no, there's, there's still a for me there's still twists and turns in, in this title race. I think as well some of the teams that go away in Europe coming back and playing the fixture after you come back in Europe from a potential away yeah, game, course, whether yeah. it be Manchester City going to Madrid or, or some going to Bayern in a game. It's the yeah. turnaround of games and games some yeah. coming so quickly is so it's, difficult. It's how you manage your squad as well. Mm. I mean, you can't just keep playing the same players. It's not like, it's not like it was years ago. To, you to be fair, to... Arsenal nev almost never changed their starting eleven too much. In fact, yeah. they played quite a few players consistently all throughout the season. Do you think that could be well, could their downfall? Well, it could catch up with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they end up playing 60 plus games. It could catch up with them towards the end. Uh, on the flip side of that, you tend to have a settled team and. And our players who play with each other most weeks, so you can look at it both ways. As I say, I still, I still think there'll be twists and turns somewhere. It's not. It's if not, it's if not you were done. to be honest, if you were to take off your loyalty hat yes. to your former sides, yes. right? Who do you think has the best chance at the moment? Well, Liverpool are top of the league, aren't they? So, mm. for me. And the Klopp factors. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're in pole position. This is another thing we haven't spoke about. Jurgen Klopp in his final season. There's so much to play for, there's so much going on. Uh, for me, all I can say is Liverpool are sitting sitting pretty at the top now. I, st I do still think they'll be twists and turns, but right now Liverpool, as I say, are in first place and that's where you want to be. Sure. I, I said last summer when, when someone asked me who would win the league, I said I didn't think Manchester City would win the league. I think because of winning all three things last year and the Champions League was massive for this football club and to, to go out and retain everything again was so difficult mentally and physically and listen we're nine games short of the end of the season now and they're in third place which is almost unheard yeah, of yeah, really yeah. and I think it will be either Liverpool or Arsenal I can't see City doing it and I think City will be chasing the Champions League retaining that again